वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्रिक्शनल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर वी डिस्कस about the friction type of friction and important laws of friction so in this particular video lecture we will study about the rolling resistance and angle of internal repose so starting with the rolling resistance so rolling resistance is one of the frictional properties of the biological materials if a round or cylindrical shaped object rolls over a horizontal surface with force f and the deformation in surface occurs there will be a resultant force capital r shown in the figure exact exerted by the surface on the body so th this concept is shown in this uh, diagram that is force exerted on a wheel in motion so the term c and f may be defined as the coefficient of rolling resistance and rolling resistance respectively so it is evident from the equation that for rigid surfaces small values of c is obtained resulting in smaller rolling, rolling resistance this rolling resistance is directly proportional to the coefficient of rolling resistance that is f which is dependent on the rigidity of the supporting surface and indirectly proportional to the effective radius of the rolling object so this is shown in this particular slide that is c is equal to f into r divided by w or f is equal to c into w by r so if the moment of force is taken about point of application of r and the accelerating force is neglected then summation mb is equal to f into a minus capital w into small c is equal to 0 so assuming the deformation of surface as very small a is approximately equal to r then so this becomes the equation that is c is equal to that is c is equal to f into r by w or f is equal to c into w by r so various mechanisms have been designed by making use of difference in rolling resistance of the materials one such example is the separation of potatoes and stones the rolling resistance of stones differs from that of potatoes so this rolling resistance property of agricultural produce is used to design the potato separator the equal rolling resistance is observed only in the case of large potatoes and very small stones so the next frictional property is angle angle of repose so this is one of the important frictional properties of the agricultural produce so this property plays important role in the design of silos beans hoppers and in order to calculate lateral and longitudinal pressure uh, imposed by grain on the structure so when a granular of product is dumped through a circular opening on a level horizontal surface the product takes a shape of inverted cone or simply it forms a pile or heap and the shape of that heap is is similarly to that of shape of inverted cone as we see in the diagram a heap of grain is shown grain is shown and the angle of repose is shown there how to measure it the angle of repose is the angle between the base and slope of the cone as shown in figure 
form on a pre vertical fall of the granular material to a horizontal plane this angle of repose is an indicator of the product's ability to flow so each product has its own angle of repose the cohesive materials have larger angle of repose whereas the lower angle of repose represent the easier flow ability of the product it means if the granular material has higher value of angle of repose it means it is very difficult to move it on the opposite side if the granular material has a low angle of repose it means it is easily flowable the size shape moisture content and orientation of the grains affect the angle of repose the natural angle of repose of a certain product is approximately equal to the maximum angle of internal friction so flow characteristics with respect to angle of repose so this table shows the flow characteristics of with their angle of repose so very pre flowing materials have an angle of repose in the in the range between 25 to 30 degree pre flowing material have 30 to 38 degree fair flowing material has 38 to 45 degree whereas cohesive or non easy flowing materials have angle of repose value in the range between 45 to 50 and very cohesive material has angle of repose value beyond 55 degree so also the next table shows the angle of repose of some grains so wheat grain has angle of repose between 23 to 28 degree paddy has in between 30 to 45 degree maize has an angle of repose between 30 to 40 degree barley has angle of repose 28 to 40 degree whereas millet has an angle of repose in the range 20 to 25 and rye has angle of repose in the range 23 to 28 it means when this material falls on a horizontal surface from a certain height it forms heap and the angle between the slope of the side of the heap and the horizontal base is nothing but the angle of repose and the values of this angle of repose for a different granular material is shown in this table so types of angle of repose basically there are two types of angle of repose or angle of repose is represented by this static angle of repose and second one is the dynamic angle of repose first static angle of repose so it is nothing but the angle of friction taken up by granular solid about to slide upon itself it means the grains there is no relative motion between the grains so the grains there is a grains remain static in condition and angle present in that condition is nothing but the static angle of repose so next one is the dynamic angle of repose or simply it is called as natural angle of repose so this angle is the angle of friction taken up by granular solid about to slide upon itself when it is in motion so this dynamic angle of repose is more important than static angle of repose this dynamic angle of repose comes in picture when the uh, solid material is in motion so when the material is in is in motion it imposes some pressure on the structure and in order to calculate that pressure we must know the angle of repose so this therefore this dynamic angle of repose plays important role in the design of silos beams and hoppers so,
thank you so in this way we have covered rolling resistance angle of repose and types of angle of repose in this particular video lecture in the next video lecture we will study about the methods of measurement of angle of repose thank you